right, so 2K dropped the patch this morning, man. 10 gigs on next gen, 50 gigs on current gen, man. And I know what y'all thinking. Jay, hey, Jay, Jay, what are the patches about? What what changed? Do you know what changed? Did they take out Dex and did they take out Fade? One thing that we absolutely do know did not change uh, from this tweet from my guy Lego fan is, it sure would be nice to set my controller settings and never think about it again. So we already know that that's not something that was changed in here, man. But by the sheer size of these patches, we know that they have something to do with the Season 3 update. We get one of these at the beginning of every season and all that good stuff. And there are some other things that change, man. And we're going to talk about those in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment patch down below if you don't have anything else to comment. You comment your regular thing, but just comment patch down below if you don't have anything to comment. That's going to do two things for y'all. Number one, every Every single week, we give away $50 in VC, Cash App, or uh, a free video game of your choice, man. It's got to be the extra regular edition, man, because I can't be I can't buy out a championship edition of 2K. So that's number one. Number two, and this is the more important one. Um, if we can average 8K views a month, and with these jump shots and all the stuff that we're doing, we are getting back up there. If we can average that, we're gonna be giving away a next gen console, man, whether it be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or uh, 500 bucks, or uh, a laptop or something like that, man. That's that. And number three, the bots are down there, man. Make sure y'all ignore those bots and just don't talk to them, man. Look, they be trying to tell y'all I'm, I'm on telegram i'm on instagram twitter and black planet and that's it my college club a clown it got closed a couple weeks ago so all that's that's all i got man so don't don't listen to them bots i'm not trying to get y'all an ipad and i don't put my phone number down in the comment section and with all that out of the way good morning out there in 2k land man listen so we did talk to a couple of people. I went around to a couple of streams and all that. Checked out Brute Video and all of that good stuff, man. Two things that some people are saying have changed. One thing, they're saying that fading is a little less prominent. Now we do got people, I see delayed fading still. I see bullet fading still. I see Nike still fading. I see those guys fading, but those guys are really, really, really good at the game. So. It's one of those things where I, I, you got to take them with a grain of salt. I don't know if if the, they actually changed anything with the fading or not. It could be everything is the same, but it could be that things are a little bit different. Or it could be one of those things how, how it was last year when they tightened up shooting or when they tightened up shooting this year. If you're really good at shooting, you don't notice the big changes they did with shooting this year uh, with the game. But if you're not that good, you notice it a whole lot. Somebody like me, I'm still shooting. I knew that I would go. I was shooting 75% last year, so now I'm shooting 60 60% right now. Probably if I shoot the ball more, especially in the corner and off ball, I will probably be shooting uh, shooting higher than that, but I don't shoot the ball that much this year. It just is what it is, man. And I, and, and that could be coming up to a change with what the change that they did in their ears. But you know, like I said, it could be something like that. The second thing that they changed, and this is the more one that everybody was asking for you no longer lose adrenaline off ball now that's gonna be a big w for a lot of people man because when your point guard gets depleted you know like 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 my guy man man grind hard man he come down court and sometimes he hadn't touched the basketball and he'll be like dang man why am i out of adrenaline already or or, or whatever and uh you know it just be because you lose adrenaline off ball so 2k has heard our cries they heard uh, some things that we were talking about and you no longer lose adrenaline off ball so you can run around and you can dex to your heart is content i don't know how good of a change this is going to be because this is something that everybody was asking for but at the same time i feel like it not only made offensives offenses run a little bit better when you knew that you had to be judicious sprinting around on offense but at the same time if i needed to get from one side of the court to the other and i needed to relocate or you know change positions with somebody or rap or whatever then you could just you could be out of adrenaline then when you actually catch the ball if you needed to go to the rim you might not even be able to do anything at all the one thing i felt like it did was it kept randoms from moving all over the doggone place that's one thing that i felt that it kept in check so with this being the case Random's gonna be moving all over the place now. That's all you're gonna see. Random's just boom, boom, boom. It's speedway. It's gonna be uh, uh, like they already run around and do all that crazy crossing and stuff like that. And I'm not talking about the ones when they do it and it's strategic when they run around and cross. I'm talking about when they're on your team and they just keep cutting and keep cutting and keep. At least I knew they were only gonna be able to cut three times. Now, when I'm playing with randoms, boy, them jokes gonna be cutting like 15 times, bro. It's gonna be crazy, but we're gonna see how that works. And like I said, the Dexter in this game is already crazy, man. So we don't know how that's going to impact the game itself, but we're going to see, man. It's not one of those things that's going to be game breaking. I don't feel like, and it is a little comfort that the guy can come out of the corner and get a bucket because 
let's be honest, the good players that were good at the game, they didn't use their adrenaline off ball anyway. And you would see them come out of that corner and get a bucket because they'll have all three of their bars because they knew you sprint to half court and then you glide the rest of the way and then you're good to go. But I guess it's the, the players that weren't very good or something like that, they, they're the ones that really uh that really were suffering from it. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, man, we got the boy Tassino. That boy Tassino says in December, I'll be on vacation in America. And while I'm there, I'm giving away any, I'm giving any big content creators $10,000 if they can beat me on the twos in NBA 2K23. First time, I won't be delayed since 2K20 because the borders are the borders are now open. Tag content creators that you want to see me play. And I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. That's gonna be that's gonna be cool. It's gonna be good for the community and all that good stuff, man. But I do not know if yeah, I, I just don't know if it's gonna be what people are gonna think that it's gonna be like it's gonna give the game legs again and it's gonna save the game. To me, personally, I don't think the game needs saving. I think that if you're doing a certain type of content like I was, I was doing the doing I was doing the uh simulations and stuff like that, those weren't working for me. Conversely, what was working for me is jump shots, builds, and then raising with randoms. Those things are working for me. So if you're doing something and it's not really hitting, you probably just gotta go back, get in your content bag, content creation bag, and figure out what's going on now i'm going to keep doing the simulation because y'all guys seem to like those and i enjoy editing those i enjoy doing those and stuff but i just have to know going into those those are passion projects now ain't nobody really watching them until they do start watching them so that's one of those things that just has that just, just happens and i just got to deal with that but if you're somebody like Tassino and you coming and you coming back and doing this stuff man i i don't think it, i don't think it's nothing bad to it man it's just gonna be something that's good for the community everybody will be happy uh you know it's gonna be dope to see some people play each other and actually actually run against each other and and i think that with the raises and stuff man it's not the fact that money is on the line the only thing that people really like is you get to see good players play against each other and you get to see how they stack up against each other stuff like that man so it's not really so much as they are you know it's, it's money involved I just think people just want to see good players play against other good players and the only way you're going to do that is to finance it or whatever so you know uh it is what it is last but not least man this one speaking of randoms my boy dime work oh yeah this is another thing that changed right here he said lol they move <laughs> they moved the my career tab i know i know it ain't the i know i ain't the only one that uh accidentally clicked on the jordan challenge so that's one of those things man that's that dope and last but not least we had the boy dime work talking about this man i swear bombs love to flop when they get an early lead dudes Dudes don't know how to act when they finally, uh, when they're finally winning. It's like they can't believe it. Get to flopping after every score just to end up losing by 30. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. I, I swear to y'all, bombs do that stuff right there, man. And it's just crazy to me because you go in there and 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 you uh you see you see that like they, they get an early lead, they up five points and they just start flopping. You might miss a shot, here they go flopping. And then the next thing you know, you blast them and then they quit. And that's just one of those things. They're quitting and then they're complaining about losing their ghost status. <laughs> I can't even do it, man. Shut the f up. Shut the f up. Look, man, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all don't want to listen to me about that ghost status, man. I feel like if you quit in games, you, I mean, if you quit and you lost. So if you lose, you're gonna lose ghost status. It is what it is. But I do understand that not everybody has any, somebody to play with. But if the only way you can reach ghost status is to play with people, then, I mean, that's probably the key you need to play with some people or something like that you're just not gonna really reach that just by playing by yourself but hey that's just my uh my, my thoughts on it like that but i do understand that not everybody have have anybody to play with but you you should never be able to circumvent something circumvent the system by by quitting out of games and stuff like that because people were doing that at the beginning of the year they was quitting games so that they wouldn't uh so they wouldn't lose games and then they fixed that and then they fixed the goat status and now it's extremely hard to even gain goat status so it's crazy and i know y'all talking about my internet over there how i just ate that how i just completely ingested that 48 gigs i got a thousand up a thousand down man on the internet man i got that i got that giga power so you know it is what it is but anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video man make sure y'all drop a like comment patch down below and uh we're gonna holler at y'all next time i mean we didn't get any official word from mike and all them but these changes that we got they pretty solid man so i'm gonna holler at y'all next time man make sure y'all like the video and uh till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby.